Welcome to Chief Eats. Ralph and Steve, and we're taking you on a road to try all kinds of places on the Sunset Strip. Where are we going? On the Strip, we're going to Duke's for breakfast. We're going to Carney's for lunch. We're going to Rainbow for dinner. Wow, come on, follow us, and we'll find those places. at Dukes in West Hollywood, the land of rock and roll history. We're gonna eat where all the, quote, stars of the past of the day are eating. Let's go in there and try it out. You know, we're at the Sunset Strip right at San Vicente, and I'm ready for breakfast. Let's go. Mm. I'm here with Adam. Adam owns Dukes, right? Third owner. Who's the first owner? Sandy Koufax. In about 1968? 68. And we're on the Sunset Strip now. When, when 19, the move? 1987 when we came to the Sunset Strip. That's a long time. Who hung out here? Everybody over the years, from Sinatra to Belushi to Ricky Lee Jones. I understand something special about Ricky Lee Jones. She wrote her song, uh, Chucky's in Love, at the counter in the 70s. And uh, who should I look for now? Cameron Diaz, Justin Timberlake recently. Uh, what do they have for breakfast? Everybody has eggs. That's the scrambles are a thing. But I also see uh, uh, banana pancakes. Yes, uh, well, Beastie Boys over there and Cameron both had uh, banana pancakes. Everybody loves the ooh banana pancakes. Great. Yeah. My old buddy Salmon's in the kitchen cooking something up. I think we should go check on it. All right. So we've got the great banana pancakes. I can see the fresh bananas, pancake batter, the ham, the potatoes. We've got the everything here. So most people want them flipped or not flipped. You gotta flip them, you gotta get some air under there. But the famous banana pancake looks like it's ready to go. Oh wow. Look at the texture and the color, and I am just can't wait to taste this. The banana pancakes is the big seller, right? That's the one. What about the scramble? We have a Mexican scramble with a lot of flavor, chorizo, avocado, pico de gallo. About how long does it cook? Uh, I think it's about ready now. Okay. Come out of there. It goes in with the eggs. Put them in there together, and we'll let you mix them up. Well, we, you got to scramble. There we go. It's got, it's got the flavor. And then with a howdy doody, which is your special, it's pancakes, can. eggs, bacon. And the whole deal. The whole deal, all for breakfast in the morning. Let's go out there and try eating some of this stuff, okay? All right. Okay, banana pancakes. I've been hearing about this and now I'm gonna taste it. And you know, chorizo and eggs is supposed to go down mild. It, I, I can smell the smell of the chorizo. And you can just taste the, the chili and the flavor of, of the chorizo. And I'm well. gonna taste the bacon. Mm. And, and, this, and then of course, there's nothing like hash browns to just grab it, the great potatoes with the onions in it, and it grabs the flavor of the chorizo. How about fresh squeezed orange juice? Here's to you. Here's to you. The flavor is outstanding. It's moist, it's juicy. They fix it the way you want it. The Carnies has very, very good food. You know, the taste you can't really find anywhere, anywhere else. They're very juicy and tasty and better than all the other hamburgers I've tasted. Hey everybody, we're on the Sunset Strip, just down from Sweetser. We're ready for hot dogs and hamburgers. We're at Carney's. There are two real train cars. This is gonna be lots of fun. Let's go eat them. Okay. We're with John, uh, one of the owners of Carney's. So why are we in a train? Well, originally we didn't own the property and my dad put a train here in case of business either failed or we lost our lease, we can move it. So 37 years ago and you're still here. We're still here. The only train on Sunset Boulevard, as I understand it. So the chili, the hot dogs, the hamburgers, same recipes? 
Uh, the hot dog is the same recipe. It's our special recipe. We have one specially made for us. The hamburgers have actually been upgraded to chuck. And the chili is the same recipe we've had for the last 36 years. Well, you know, so that's when you come in here and you eat that hot dog, it tastes different than any other hot dog because it's made specially for you. Right. It's got casing, so when you bite into it, it pops and snaps. Ooh, just give me that mustard, honey, and the bun with that great hot dog. There you go. You know what we're going to do? Ralph's going to go in the kitchen and maybe you'll show him how to do some of this, okay? I will show him how, absolutely show him how to do it. Fantastic. All right, what am I doing here? You know, flip the burger over to cook it on the other side. How's that? That's great. Go ahead and grab a piece of cheese over here. That looks square. Beautiful. What's next? You want to take uh, this part of the bun and turn okay. it over. All right. Leave it there for a second. Okay. Turn that one over. Same process. Yep. Okay. Okay, so that's good. You can take that off and put it over here, and then take this one, turn it back over, because you don't want to cook the bottom okay. part too much. Just stick it over here. Okay. Okay, so you're going to take this, you're going to put a light coating of mustard all the way across the bun. That's that's fine. Okay. And like Great. three pickles, spread them out. Two, three, and good then coverage. And a uniform amount of onions. Okay. Okay. Ah, oh, more than that. All right. You don't have to see anybody. Somebody's going to have a good time. There you go. All and right. Grab that big fat tomato. Yeah, actually, turn it over. Yeah. Other way. Gotcha. Crown is always up. Okay, good to know. Um, so then what you do is you grab a couple papers like this, you can get a fold them into a triangle, put the bun half on, half off. Half on the far edge. Uh huh. Gotcha. We'll get you a box down here. Good. Okay, and you're ready to go. All right. Take your burger, stir the chili up, put some chili on there. Good quantity. Yeah, have a full spoon. Beautiful. Okay. okay, put the bun on top, and you want to put the bun like here. Okay. So when you push it, it'll slide on, and you can just push the bun right on top. Remember, sideways. Like this. Right. I Beautiful. Think, I think I did it. So uh, where are your applications for work? <laughs> okay, so then you want it both at the same time, kind of tighter. Okay. Flip that side up. Okay. Tight. Stick it in the box, and you're good. Just put it right over here like that. Okay. Mmm. Then we'll dump some fries in there for you. Oh, yeah. Tell me about the fries. Well, our fries, we use a high-end fry, one of the highest-end fries we get our hands on. It's a consistent product. They blanch it. Blanching it equals out the water in every single slice of potato. Okay. And we cook it in a uh, trans-fat-free oil. Always have done that. Healthy. It is healthy. And you know, it, it really isn't that big a difference from not trans-fat-free as far as flavor. How long does that cook? Three and a half minutes, and they're done. They look good. They look great. Wow. They're I'm really hot. hot. Uh, you're right about that. Put them in the box. Go ahead. I got to try this. Wow. That is great. That is fantastic. Chili hamburger with cheese. Oh, the aroma is like perfume. I made this hamburger, chili, cheese. Smell the aroma here. Mm. The chili is, is, you know, it's, it's really rich. It's not spicy, it's just rich. It's really delicious. Well, first of all, look at this. Fresh tomato, the special casing on the hot dog, mm -hmm. the, the relish pickles. Mm. Mm. The tomato and, and the pickles in this thing. In the midst of this, you taste the hot dog. It's got a flavor to it. The garnish just adds to it. I'm coming back and getting more of these. How about the price? Mm. Gotta try the price. They're and crispy. Now look at the tasty alternative. The same luscious tomatoes that I've got on here or there. They're fresh, they're gorgeous looking, they have a delicate color. And what's the chicken like? This is Chinese chicken salad and this great sauce. It's, it's kind of sweet. It's, it's perfect Chinese chicken salad. Mm. Mm. Chicken is so tender. Don't tell anybody. You should keep this place secret. Okay. I'm enjoying this really delicious hamburger. I love hamburgers, and this one's really great. I had the pizza, the cheese pizza. It's pretty ridiculous. It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> the cheese is thick. It's really good. Hey, everybody. We're at the Rainbow on the Sunset Strip, just down from Doheny. Right next to the Roxy Room, with all the famous rock and rollers come and hang out. 
for lunch, breakfast, and dinner. And we're going to go get a little dinner. Amen. Hey everybody, I'm here with Michael of the Rainbow. You call it the Bow sometimes, huh? The Bow is the nickname for the place. Rainbow Bar and Grill. This is a fantastic place. So tell me what tell me what's happening. You're standing in the middle of the history of Sunset. This booth right here is where the Who hung out, spent many good nights here with John Atwistle. Um, that's his guitar up there on the wall as well. Yeah. All the stuff, we don't buy it. It's given to us by the groups. Yeah. Um, down from Jimi Hendrix, same owners as the whiskey, so. Michael, we, how long have you owned this place? Uh, 40 years. That's a long time. A lot of history. I started in the whiskey in 1965. Whiskey Go Go. Whiskey Go Go, yes. Fantastic. And this is like an offspring of the whiskey. I think yeah. today we're focusing on the Italian food. Yeah. We have a variety. We do all fresh fish. All our meats are fresh. Um, Everything is 100% grade A, um, home style. The recipes came from my mom. She's the one who designed your chicken soup that's very famous here. Oh, God, that's awesome. Um, and we we're talking about affordable meals. Well, the chicken soup is, I believe, uh, 350 for a bowl. Great. And how can we beat that? That's Solomon's the in the itself. kitchen. I think we should go see what he's up to. Okay. What do you think? Yep, I'm All ready right. for it. So, Miguel, we're going to make a pepperoni pizza, right? You got it. Sauce on it. You, put the, you make the sauce yourself? Yeah. All mozzarella. Okay. Ooh. A little kick to the pepperoni. Well, how long do you have to wait to cook it? About 15 minutes. Okay. Okay, coming right out. Oh wow! Does that look at that? Look at the cheese. It's it's just glimmering like a sun's coming up in the morning. Wow! Look at the glistening pizza on that. Fantastic. You know what I think we should do now? Let's go down and let's take a look at some of those great soups that you make by hand. Okay. You got it. You make the best chicken soup in town. Yes, we do. So this is, uh, we call this uh, the Italian penicillin. So this is guaranteed to make me feel better. Oh, Look yeah. at that. You'll be like a brand new man tomorrow. Oh, my goodness. And then you have some other great soups here. And then we got oh. our minestrone soup. The minestrone soup, fresh made, all the way. Every the, day. You know, I can smell. It's just like standing next to a garden right here. Look at this. Now, this one doesn't make you better. This one makes you smile. Look at this. And now we're going to go down and we're going to make some fresh lasagna. We've got the great minestrone soup. We have the fresh pasta with the meatballs. We've got the, the peppers. We've got the amazing lasagna that we were making, and we've got this pizza here that's glowing. What's, Why don't we try some of it? Oh, yeah. I'm on. Mmm. Meatballs are delicate. Got a great, delicate flavor to it. Ricotta, pasta, the cheese just melts into it. The, the meat is like floating on a cloud. The red sauce has a not too tangy, but it just sort of fits right in. It's sort of like being on a velvet uh, magic carpet. And the pasta is just perfect, too. Mm. Just perfect, perfect. Well, what an ending to a fun day. Oh, my goodness gracious. What a great day. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner on the Sunset Strip. Thanks for joining us. You two can try this. It's fantastic. Thanks for watching Cheap Eats, and we'll see you back along the road. <laughs>